It's over 20 contribution margin ratio. So the new, the sales price is still the same. Okay, sales price is still 50. got the break-even units in sales? Same 8,000 units, but what about sales in dollars? 200,000 you got it from. You will multiply by 50, exactly, because we didn't change the 400,000. So you will need to calculate this by the new contribution margin ratio, which is 50 minus the new variable cost is 20. So it's 30 here, and we divide it by the same fixed cost, 240,000. So it gives you the same units as before, 8,000 units, and then you multiply that by the $50 per ticket sales. Multiply that by 50, because each ticket you're selling it at $50 to customers. Right? The beginning part of the, the problem. We didn't change the sales price here. We're just changing variable cost. So we're changing variable cost to 20. Originally it was 10. Okay. So this is a problem that we didn't change sales price, but we changed the middle of the cost portion. A variable cost increased to $20. Originally it was 10. Now again it uh, lowers down the contribution margin you're getting for each ticket you're selling. So now we're not reducing sales price, but we're increasing variable costs, so it will give us $30 per ticket. This is the contribution margin you're getting for every ticket you're selling, and you use this to divide fixed costs to get the break-even units, which again is 8,000. But this 8,000 units now we're selling in at $50, that's the price that we didn't change. So break-even sales is 400,000 instead of earlier it was. 240,000, right? By the 50 is the sales price. So earlier in the problem, we multiply by 40, right? So now it's multiplied by 50. We didn't change the sales price. Okay. Yes. That gives you contribution margin. Yes. And then contribution margin ratio will be that divided by sales price. Okay, very last.